Hi there on YouTube. Hey, I'm, I, don't you look familiar? <laughs> it's good to see you guys again. I don't know why you came back. They came back for the hamstrings. The hamstrings. The hamstrings. Yeah. The hamstrings have been popping. Hamstrings are money. Yeah, probably the one of the second biggest question we get with Ashley is like, how are her hamstrings so bubbly versus her glutes, right? Uh -huh. So today is the day we're gonna go over some hamstring. <laughs> For, for no reason at all, apparently. <laughs> we're dancing? I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, the hamstring, the hamstring guitar. This is called the hamstring guitar. Advanced. <laughs> it plays that mean beat. Advanced only. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go with the, ham, the banjo because it's got some, some crazy strings on it. Optimal contraction. Optimal contraction. <laughs> <laughs> when doing this, she's gonna shove her hips kind of forward, kind of thrust her hips forward into the pad squeeze her glutes, and then she's going to come up to range of motion without her hips coming up. There you go, right there. And then that'll be about the maximum range of motion that she's gonna go. That's actually farther than most people will go because she's got really, really flexible. So we're gonna go for high reps today. Um, you know, every workout's always gonna be different for different people. Right now, Ashley has all the muscle she needs to have. She doesn't need a lot more muscle. We're just trying to like create separation and create a little bit more pop to her. So it's all just like high reps, hard squeezing. That's like where 90% of her thing is. is you want to do singles? Yeah, let's go do singles. Because, uh, yeah, that was hurting. <laughs> yeah. She has a, her knees hurting, so we're doing things differently right now, too. Like her, she's doing singles because yes. apparently it's, it, it feels better. So, um, but yeah, everything here for her, it's, it's squeezing hard. Now, with the hamstrings, the hamstrings are generally a muscle that responds better to heavy loads. They're a very white muscle fiber dominant muscle group. And what that means is they respond to heavy loads. So generally in like the six to eight family, if you want to, six to eight rep family, if you want to build them. But for, remember for Ashley, she's a top level, like one of the best in the world competitors. Who me? <laughs> me? Thank you. If she's gonna lift according to like what her body needs and it's, it's, very, it's already, she's already got the hamstrings, now we just need that bubble pop separation. So high reps, <laughs> but that extra inch was it. It was all that extra inch of fabric that you just pulled up right there. <laughs> Totally. I didn't even know you had hamstring until you flapped the lid. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> this is the single leg back extension with the focus on the hamstring or the ham rope, okay? This is one of my favorites, actually. But the key to this is to really concentrate on using your hamstrings instead of your back because a lot of people will use their back on this because you know, that's kind of like what we're used to. We're used to a back extension. So it's important to engage the hamstrings. I like to almost think of it as I'm doing like a deadlift, that feeling of doing a deadlift, and kind of just think that in your mind. I'm really trying to keep my back straight here so that I'm not engaging it. And I'm really trying to squeeze up at the top here and concentrate on using my hamstrings. I'm gonna use my tool for this one to show oh, you viewers. This is a trick. The flying broom. <laughs> the broom, okay. For all you trainers out there, are you trying Hold to on. learn this the right way? Give me a quad sweep, bro. <laughs> quad sweep. Quad sweep. <laughs> now look at the improvement. <laughs> look at the imp I know it's hamstring day, but look at the improvement <laughs> on my quad sweep. Do it again. Quad sweep. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, it's magic. Back to hamstrings. So, so here's a trick that'll help this for people. If you're at the gym with your friend or whoever, and you want to learn this, put, a, put a, a stick on their back and on their butt, right in the middle. And you see how she's not leaving the stick? Well now, she's not rounding her lower back and we can make sure that it's not turning into just a lower back exercise. Because if she left the stick, so go ahead and round off the stick. See, like that? Now that's an all lower back exercise. But now if we keep the stick where she's straight on it the whole way, then now she's bending off of her hip. So from here up, think of you're a stick. You can't bend when you're doing this. It's a really helpful tip in, in making sure that you're using the hamstring. There are a few ways you can make this exercise a little bit harder. You can hold a weight, or you can even put a resistance band at the bottom so you're pulling. And you can also do it with two legs if it's a little too advanced for you with one. A lot of times people will ask, like, how do you get this to be more, more round and more bubbly like this? Or you'll see like Ronnie Coleman's bicep and it's like really peaked. Like, how do you get that? Well, unfortunately, that's not something you can like yeah, you can develop something like this if you have it. And if Ashley didn't work out her legs at all, she wouldn't have this. But it's based on like how her muscles are just, how they're designed, like how her origin and her insertions are, how long the muscle group is, where it inserts at on her body. 
Um, and that's why she gets this amazing rounding shape. And it's kind of like one of those luck of the draw things, but you don't know you don't have it or do have it until you really work it and develop it. Because I, this is an amazing hamstring. I'll, I'll say I think it's the, the bubbliest, non-overdeveloped hamstrings in bikini right now. Um, so, you know, really luckily genetically, but obviously a lot of hard work made it, made it that way too. You're so. making my hamstrings blush. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got a nice little pump going on. I also feel hungry. Oh yeah. Yeah. This morning, huh? yeah. I did. I'm yeah. hungry today. Got to feed the hamstrings. Yes, you're working pretty hard. We worked out twice yesterday. Mhm. Mm um, when she's out here, sometimes we'll go crazy. So she worked out twice yesterday. We're gonna get out legs again today. Probably work out twice tomorrow, and then once again on Friday, probably maybe. We'll see. Yeah. So we've absolutely. been getting a lot of lifts and be fun. Sore like everywhere. <laughs> do you crave snacks when you work out? I do. I'm more of a snack person. You guys know. I'm a snack person. I don't like to go and have a huge dinner. Like that's not my thing. I like to sample little things yeah. here and there. That's my like. That's my jam. What is it? Snacks. So what we're doing with her in this one is we're gonna pull the band. So you can have this as fun, like a fun friend exercise. If you have someone, the, we're gonna put this around her here. <laughs> and of course, you have to do it, like have to do it the, the most extra way possible. <laughs> so what happens is usually when someone does an RDL, the tension kind of stops here. But what we're gonna do is she's gonna thrust her hips forward and the tension's gonna come from this way and from here. So I'm gonna hold back on this so she'll have tension on her glutes the entire range of motion versus just that bottom range. Good gal. So now I'll pull this way back. And so now tension will be coming behind her and she can thrust her hips forward and get extra glute squeeze and turn this really into a good glute exercise. I also want to note too, if you guys may or may not have noticed, my toes come up a little bit on this, which is okay because we're really trying to balance on our heels to activate what we want. So you don't want to kind of put all the weight on the toes, which would be really hard with this, especially since he's pulling. The band makes it so much harder. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. <laughs> 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 I call that one the flower. The flower? I was gonna call that one the sumo. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> this is called the toro. Let's see a toro. <laughs> <laughs> For my Spanish blood. Toro! 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 <laughs> oh, <my> we're in! <laughs> now, if you don't have this contraption, you can use two dumbbells instead and just put it into dumbbells. This is gonna make it, this is a really light band, but this is such a hard exercise that it's gonna be really, really difficult. This one is uh, more glutes than the other ones were. Yeah. But that's okay, because the glutes are connected to the hamstrings. What's up guys? All right, next we are gonna do hip thrusts, which are like glute bridges, except for your heels are gonna be on a platform. So I'm using this sponge here. Um, you could also use weight if you'd like, a dumbbell, or whatever you may have, maybe a kettlebell. You can do a single leg or double leg, but what you do is you put your heels on the platform and then you just hump up like this, all right? And up. Make sure you're really squeezing here at the top, like this, pushing through the heels. I feel like this is like an 80s exercise or something. So I really like this exercise, actually even more than a glute bridge, because for me personally, I can feel it more in my hamstrings. So if I'm looking to do more of a hamstring focus day, I prefer to do this one over glute bridges, which I'll still, still do glute bridges, because it still is beneficial. But if I'm really trying to burn the hammies, this is what I'll do. No. <laughs> Bingo. So another good benefit of this workout is that if you're having any problems with your knees, we're modifying this workout around her knee. So there's this, if you have a bad knee or anything, you should be able to do this exercise. I mean, if it hurts, don't do it, of course. But this should be pretty safe for most people on their knees, what we're doing today. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's we did it in Japan. Remember this one? Oh, the, the. <laughs> she was dressed up as Alice from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Are we doing this? Ready? Put it up. <laughs> Throw it back. <laughs> so bad. We're so bad at this. How did it go? We went like this. 
You did it like a Michael Jackson. Oh my god! <laughs> and then you put it on my like, shoes. <laughs> I can wear them and that's about it. Yeah. We'll have a dance up one day. I can, I'm more of a break dancer. Though. Yeah. Like I can do some like flippy and then. Yeah. I can flip. That's about it. <laughs> one of these days, me and Ashley are not going to do a bikini anymore. And we're going to just create a dance team. <laughs> Her and I. Called A&A. A&A? <laughs> be a non twerking dance team. Non twerking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you good at winking? I wink. I'll do it for the camera. Yeah, way <laughs> better than me. I'm like... You need to do the point and... and, and there you go. Hey. 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 Yo, what's up, girl? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you can make your hamstrings very happy. Mine are very happy right now. I'm not going to be sore tomorrow, but they're happy. Thank you for training me, and my hamstring's gonna say bye. Okay. <laughs> so she's trying again. Gotta get on the side. How did I say bye last time? Oh. My bingo hamstring. Bingo hamstring. Bye. <laughs> you gotta get from the hamstring. Oh yeah. There it is. My it's hamstring says bye. bye. <laughs> my hamstring says like and subscribe. <laughs> Like and subscribe. <laughs> as long as she's having fun, I don't. As long as whatever. <laughs> That's what's up. Keep waiting for.